Hi everybody, welcome to CAFE, I'm Clarence Reynolds. And I am Crystal Candy. It is great to be back with you to share all of the fun and exciting events happening this week. So I had the opportunity to visit the Orlando Museum of Art to see what they have going on, so let's take a look. seems like every time I come here, there's something new, but there are some permanent ex exhibitions here. Yeah, yeah, so we do have traveling exhibitions throughout the year, but we're really proud of our permanent collection that features contemporary art, traditional style paintings, those types of things. We also have a great contemporary graphics ex exhibition that's on view all the time. Uh, famous prints from artists like Andy Warhol and Lichtenstein, so really famous artists that people know. Uh, we also have a great uh, abstract exhibition that features some sculpture and kind of more creative outside the box works. And then we also have a collection of artifacts from the ancient Americas that's on view. So there's really something for everybody at the museum. When you say something for everybody, I always think about like young artists, and I mean really young, like summer camps and things like that. Yeah, so throughout the year we offer a lot of great programs uh, for art lovers of all ages. We do our summer camps, winter art camp, and a spring art camp that's available for kids. Uh, we also have our annual big events, our fundraisers with Council of 101, Art in Bloom, and then also the Festival of Trees uh, at the, around the holidays, which are great fun for the entire family. All right, and the thing I know you're, you know I'm going to ask about and that is the gift shop. Yes, oh my gosh, <laughs> our shop is my favorite. We have free parking open uh, every day that the museum's open, Tuesday through Sunday. Great collection of just unique gifts and, and again, just something for everybody on your list. Best gift shop ever, not kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what else can people expect when they come here if they've never been here? Um, what other things would you so, say? I'd say what we offer is a really unique experience. You know, it's not too much, it's not overwhelming. There's just enough to kind of feed that artistic side of everybody and it's really approachable and just easy to appreciate what we have here. Marie, thank you so much. Make sure that you take advantage of the Orlando Museum of Art because it makes living in Orlando one of the best things ever. You know, it is an amazing place and it is really, uh, it's really wonderful to have in Central Florida to have a world-class facility like that. It really is and they transform throughout the season so you're always going to find something a little bit different there. A very small percentage of their overall holdings are on display. So oh. yeah, you, you're always going to see something new. I love that. Yeah. Awesome. Well, the Blue Bamboo Center for the Arts created a Jazz Pro series to showcase talent in Central Florida. Each Wednesday night, the series highlights local and touring artists. On August 9th, see Cubop. The group covers several styles, including Latin jazz to hard bop and more progressive avant-garde styles. Cubop features Marco Bojorquez on bass, Bob Thornton on piano, Greg Parnell on drums, Joe Bredenstein on trumpet, Jeremy Frati on sax, and Frank Wosar on trombone. They celebrate the Latin-infused side of the Blue Note catalog, with origins stemming from the fusion of the Afro-Cuban and bebop sounds of stylistic pioneers. Wow. Doors open at 7 and the show begins at 8. It is time to get those school supplies ready, including those spiral notebooks, pens, and your backpacks. Get them all together because school starts for Orange County Public Schools and Seminole Public Schools on August 10th. So get ready for another great year of learning. Every second Friday of the month, Mount Dora Center for the Arts hosts an event to support local and emerging artists. MBCA's Art in the Alley takes place August 11th from 6 until 9 on Royal Lou Lane. Visual and performing artists showcase their talents and sell their artwork. It's also a chance for you to experience a self-guided tour of local galleries and art studios. 
The event is free to the public and free for artists to participate. You can get more information at mountdoraart.org. Gareth Pearson, known as the Welsh Tornado, is performing at the Timakua Arts Foundation on August 11th. Pearson is an acoustic guitarist known for his fingerstyle, pyrotechnics, and explosive lead runs. His unique style covers everything from country to pop to jazz. Bring a bottle of wine or a non-alcoholic beverage to share. The performance starts at 7.30. Discounted tickets are available for students, teachers, frontline workers, veterans, and seniors. Tammy Diener Lafferty, who is a curator at the Alvin Palaszczuk Museum and Sculpture Gardens, joins us to tell us about this very, very special place in our area. Welcome, Tammy. Thanks for being with us. Thank you very much for having me. I'm happy to be here. Every time I say Alvin Palaszczuk Museum and Sculpture Gardens to somebody, their eyes light up. Yes. <laughs> tell For people who haven't been, tell them what they will experience once they go there. Well, I would say, you know, many people say, oh, I have never heard of it, or I have never been there and I've heard of it. So I just want to say, I hope that everyone will come to visit. It is a very special place. Um, it's located in Winter Park, Florida, on um, the shores of Lake Osceola. And it is not only a museum, it is also, we have an historic home. We have a, a sculpture garden located on the shores of Lake Osceola. And and we also have an art gallery with rotating exhibits that we exhibit, um, rotate four times a year with different, you know, up upcoming and new artists. Um, we have an annual event called Winter Park Paint Out, um, which is very popular in Winter Park and is a lot of fun. Um, and we ha also have Capen House, which is a second historic home. Um, and there we host events, weddings and conferences, and it's available for for, um, for rent. Now you just sort of slid the sculpture gardens in there. Yes, but it I did. really is yes. a very special place. It is a special place. I highly recommend people come and spend a day there. The sculpture gardens, it's a three acre sculpture garden, just lush with all kinds of different tropical plants and um, Nestled in within the plants, you'll find as you turn around every corner the beautiful sculptures created by Alban Palaszczuk. He um, built this home in 1950 when he retired, and he built it to be his studio and his home. And he was inspired by the same sites that you'll see when you visit there: um, the beautiful landscaping and the beautiful view of the lake. And you know, he designed those gardens himself to display his sculptures. It's a wonderful experience. It's uh, reflective, contemplative, but also just so artistic. Yes. You're, you're yeah. seeing so much beautiful design. Mm -hmm. The atmosphere, of course, and, and the setting is yes. just amazing to be there on the lake. So if people wanted to bring their family, would kids really enjoy it as well? Yes, yes. We're definitely very welcoming to families. I think, you know, one of the best parts is our three-acre sculpture garden. So the kids can go out and run around in the gardens. You know, it's fine to go up to the sculptures and touch them and interact with them. Um, and we do have a um, docent-led museum guided tours of the historic home, which will tell you all about the life of Alban Palaszczuk and about his artwork. But they're pretty, I would say they're pretty brief, and I think most kids would be able to follow along and enjoy it, yes. So Tammy, tell me about Winter Park Paint Out. What would people experience if they participate? Winter Park Paint Out is, you know, one of the cultural events of the year in Orlando. It's very popular. It's been held since uh, 2011. Um, and the Winter Park Paint Out consists of plein air painters. 24, you know, nationally recognized plein air painters. Plein air means outdoor painting. Um, come for Winter Park Paint Out for a week-long festival. And in that week, these painters create, you know, up to 250 paintings. Our gallery is turned into a wet room, and as they paint, their paintings are hung in the wet room. Um, and they are all available for sale. The proceeds help to benefit the museum and the artists as well. Um, they paint on site at the Palaszczuk Museum. There are, um, the museum and the festival is free all week long. 
uh, and they, um, we have painting demonstrations. So some of these artists will give demonstrations as to their techniques and how they paint. It's just a really wonderful, wonderful place to be. The painters can be found all over different sites around um, Winter Park and Orlando. So if you see, you know, during the last week of April, we have this annual event every year. If you see painters painting away, it's most likely that they are part of Winter Park Paint Out. And with the, the sculpture garden and, and just the beautiful locale, are, is there event space that, that you could have an event there? Oh yes, we're very popular for weddings. In uh, 2014, um, the museum had the opportunity to purchase, it's called Capen House. Capen House was located on the other shore of Lake Osceola and the land was purchased and the house was to be demolished. And so a bunch of concerned citizens, including the Palaszczuk Museum, got together and raised funds to save the Capen House. And they were able to, in a very short amount of time, raise enough funds um, to, re to move and restore the home. So move the it? move, yes, it was moved across the lake. So I was not there at this time, but I've seen photos, and from what I understand, the house was actually cut in half, and then it was put on barges and floated across the lake to to the um, Palashik property, and there it was reassembled together and restored. And it's just a beautiful historic building from the beginning of the um, 20th century, like early 1900s. Beautiful wood floors. It's just a lovely place to be. And it is available for weddings. We have many weddings, um, engagement parties, even you know business conference meetings there. It's a very photogenic spot. They can, you can be married on the shores of Lake Osceola in the midst of the beautiful sculpture garden. Very nice, yes. very nice. And what a story you'll have to tell about your venue yes. as well. <laughs> yes. Well, Tammy, thank you for being with us. And if you haven't been to the Palaszczuk Museum and Sculpture Gardens, make your way there. It is one of the gems here in Central Florida. Thank you. Head to the 8th Annual Florida Kids and Family Expo at the Orange County Convention Center on August 12th and 13th. More than 200 exhibitors with schools, supplies, products, and services, plus entertainment. It will also be available to all families. There will be animals, characters, pony rides, live shows, games, and your chance to learn to use a lightsaber. The event runs from 10 to 4 on Saturday and 11 to 5 on Sunday. Go to MyCentralFloridaFamily.com to get tickets for that. Join the Manelu Museum of American Art every second Sunday for a day of family fun. There is free museum admission, docent-led tours of the galleries, and a fine art project. You can make the project at the museum from noon until 2.30, or you can take it with you to make it home. Each free family fun day has a different theme based on the current exhibition in the museum. The galleries will stay open until 4.30 for all guests. And to learn more, go to manellomuseum.org. The Boys and Girls Clubs of Central Florida, in partnership with Orange County and Cobaris Ministries International, invites teens ages 13 through 18 to join the SOS Summer Events. All events are free and membership is not required. These events provide a safe space with music, food, games, and prizes so teens can have fun and learn about resources available to them. You can get a schedule of the summer events at bgccf.org teens. Lots going on again. I tell week. you what, the musicians that are going to be in town giving us all different styles yeah. and then grab a bottle of wine and just enjoy yeah. everything that the arts has to offer. And you know, I, I always call it the Timakua, but I know that Benoit Glazer, whose home it actually is, it's his house, calls it the Timakua. Oh. So, but he's French. So I, I say like it the that. Florida way, Timakua. So. <laughs> <laughs> well, we could be French or Florida. Exactly. Whatever your choice. Exactly. <laughs> Well, that wraps up this week of events, and if you have one you'd like to share with us for next month, send us an email at cafe at ocfl.net. I'm Clarence Reynolds. And I'm Crystal Candy. Remember to join us next week to see what's new and exciting in your community.